Welcome Scorpio. Okay, so we are going to get a message for you from Spirit using postcards from Spirit, Whispers of Healing, and the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's have a little look-see here and see what Spirit has to say. Okay, one postcard for Scorpio, please. Here we go. Alrighty. This is your postcard from Spirit. Okay. Dearest you, let us ask you, are you looking for happiness outside of your everyday, moment-to-moment -moment experience, thinking you will find happiness out there someday? So many go chasing a magic it out there. There. Sorry, it's a magic it out there. <laughs> a little, 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 where am I? But it could never be found there. So we want to share a secret that shouldn't be a secret. You are pure joy. What you what made you is pure joy. And every time you wake up, and even when you sleep, you have joy waiting to be expressed inside of you. Joy and happiness and fullness come from doing joy. Being joy, knowing it, cultivating it and lighting it in your heart so you can share it. You must know this so when the time comes, you will be fully free. And your joyful being and actions will turn you into a beacon of starlight. Look within and be joyful, even for tears and loss. For they mean you have lived, really lived. Jump into it all and love every minute. We, love, we all love you like crazy over here. Oh, I love that. That gives me the shivers. Love it, love, love it. Okay, so Scorpio, let's have a look further into this, shall we? I love this. I, I kind of feel like some of you are like, what? <laughs> a bit like, really? Receive healing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's sort of like, um, you're still yet to get to that place, right? Which is why they're giving this message to you. Okay, so healing is needed, Scorpio. Okay, um, and I suppose this is about you being receptive to spirit, being receptive to the unseen. Okay, just ask for them to come and help you. When you're sleeping, ask. I do this every night. I ask for healing from a million angels, a million healing angels. I protect myself, white light myself, right? I ask to be protected my, by my guides as I sleep. And I ask for the healing angels to come in. Okay, so this is something that is so quick and easy to do. But the other thing, excuse me, I want to say about this is that it's really important for you to also do the work that needs to be done so you can heal. Because if you're having trouble um, being joyful or joyful and feeling the joy, um, then there are things that are stopping you that need to be um, eliminated. Okay, um, because I'm kind of like been showing it as you're walking along and there's these hurdles, it's it's kind of like going through a maze, I suppose, and you keep getting to a dead end, and a dead end, and a dead end, and these dead ends are things that need to be healed, okay, um, and also that will help you be able to tap into your intuition, um, because when there are unhealed uh, wounds, you it's going to be harder to hear your intuition or, or I should say feel your intuition. Okay, so tell me more about receive healing. And I feel like something's flipped over here too. 
I, I feel like this is, you know, the beginning of this journey for you, okay? Um, yeah, see, so you're protecting yourself here. You're feeling like you need to build walls up around yourself to protect yourself, to protect your um, sort of the, the, the essence of who you are, in a sense. It's like, Scorpio, you want to open up. But you also don't because you've been hurt before and it's it's sort of, I see this as you possessing this treasure within you, which ultimately is the essence of who you are, Scorpio, and people coming along and just taking it like it belongs to them, you know, and it's kind of like, for some of you, it's all, almost as though you feel like you're going through your life and it feels as though things that are meant for you, someone just swipes and side swipes you and just grabs it for them. Like, no, that's mine. And then you're like, oh, oh okay. And then you go along a bit more and something else and you get excited about it and then someone else comes in, no, that's mine. It's like, oh, you know, and, and I feel as though it's important for you to remember. So this is where I th feel like um, you maybe also have closed your self off from feeling excited and maybe feeling the joy about things because of that happening and it's sort of like well why get excited when it can be taken away from me um but the fact of the matter is to be living in that state just for simply say waking up that is where you want to get to okay um and with this abundance card here i feel as though scorpio whatever has been taken from you there's so much more there is so much more out there of that but even better okay and um the thing is that when you are um believing that there was only this one thing um then that's you're limiting yourself to that okay but the joy ultimately does reside within you see this guy here he's on a magic carpet flying around nothing else is doing that for him other than him being able to elevate himself up with his vibration and the joy that he feels within. Whereas when you feel like there's this protection that needs to happen, um, you automatically put build a wall and keep yourself down small. Okay, so I think it's very important for you to start working on this and do the healing that needs to be done. And maybe this, this healing um, is from people coming and taking things from you, whether that be... Um, you know, material things, maybe, but more so, you know, opportunities or um, self-esteem, self-worth, you know, all these things that we need to get by. You know, people see your light and they want some of it and they come and take it as though they're deserving of it. Um, and they because they haven't learned to tap into their own and it will not last for them because it isn't it isn't authentic it's not authentically theirs so that light isn't going to burn forever and then they come back to you and they go give me more give me more because that's where they got it from because they haven't learned to tap into and get it for themselves okay but you do have that ability i mean everyone does have that ability but i feel for you um scorpio you have the ability more than others and when you do that um no one can take that from you at all, ever, okay, so yeah, commit to happiness, okay, this is committing to this joy, committing to yourself, so that you can go and have this joyful, happy life that you really do desire, um, and no one's going to be able to take that from you, ever, ever, because you'll know now how to actually tap into that and get that, okay? Um, but there are these past hurts and um, these past disappointments that are stopping you from actually having that as a on, on a daily, pretty much. Okay, yeah, look at this, aloneness. Now, Scorpio, I know, I know, it, it, it's, it's hard to travel alone. And I feel like for a lot of you, you feel as though you've done this journey alone. That no matter who you've had around you, you still feel quite alone within. And um, see this light here. See this light guiding the way. This is this is your light. Your light guides the way. Okay, you are a way shower. This is what you are here to do. 
and um, unfortunately there are um, vultures who will come swoop in and, and want that. They want the lead, they want the they want the praise, they want the everything that goes with that, right? Um, while you humbly walk along, still paving the way. You know, this is this is I think for some of you this has become quite a heavy burden and uh, not one that you really want to carry anymore. Um and I feel like you feel as though you want to dim your light in a sense so that no one can take it from you. But the thing is, Scorpio, that's not what you're here to do. You're here to shine your light as bright as it can be shone, if not brighter. And um, I think it's really important for you to take the time right now to rejuvenate. Because you do need those times. You need those times to go in, you know, to be on your own and rejuvenate, you know. Um, but I tell you what, the energy that I get from you here, Scorpio, is that you are, I don't think you really realize, but you are a very powerful, um, crucial being on the planet right now. Uh, because there's a lot of people who need to be holding the light. Um, especially now, and you're one of those people. Um, I think it just you get exhausted and tired from it, and and that's understandable. When you're a light worker, that is understandable. But just remember that 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 comes from an endless supply from source, you know. And when you meditate and you learn how to tap into that, um, you you will be able to continue. Um, rejuvenating yourself okay so look at this this is beautiful consciousness yes see this this is what I'm talking about look at this you, this is you man you're so powerful this is you standing in a new truth okay and I feel like for two, both of these very humble very silent but holding their own standing in their power you know and this is what I feel for you when you commit to this happiness, when you commit to yourself, when you commit to allowing this joy to always be present and always tap into it, this is what will shine. Okay, ain't no one taking nothing from you now, right? So, yeah, this is this is awesome. Okay, Scorpio, and we're only like hardly in, and wow, the, like I literally feel like your presence is a um an honor to be tapping into right now so thank you yeah okay so this is mental repetition watching those thoughts yeah um because the thoughts that go on in your mind can really bring you down okay um and 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 really becoming aware of what it is that you are repeating to yourself, okay, is what you are repeating to yourself bringing you joy or is it taking you away from joy? Is it leading you to the happiness that you seek or is it taking you away? Okay, um, because that is crucial. What are those thoughts planting, Scorpio? Are they planting a forest of um, happiness? Um, are they are you going to be able to harvest something that is worth sharing or is it going to just be weeds you know so this is something that is very important for you because I feel like right now you're at um, a, a, a bit of a um, pivotal point in your life and um, if not a new beginning and I feel as though it's crucial for you to be looking at what it is that you're planting because these things are going to grow over time and um, and really focus on what it is that you want to grow here okay um, and again see here this this light here leading the way okay so this is these 
this this person here she's planted her garden and it's been very fruitful and she's been able to harvest all this fruit here all this really good stuff that nurtures you and helps you along this journey so that you are the best that you can be you are living the best version of yourself right and this is what she's doing so this is really um I, it's worth the work okay so yeah i think the thing is that some of you want to do that but it's a, actually a matter of making time to do the work right um and put investing in you because i i feel like you need to understand how valuable you actually are and um just me saying that isn't going to probably do much I, I feel like you doing the work on yourself is proving to yourself how valuable you know you are, even if you don't believe it. Even if you don't believe it, just show yourself that you are worth that, okay? Um, we've got totality here, and see, here's the light again, right? This is you linking in, linking in with your light, Okay, linking in with the truth of who you are, really tapping into that truth because um, when you do that, when you understand your your the power of your essence, you will blow yourself off the chair. Serial, you will. Okay, so next card for Scorpio, please. And interesting, I think everyone else around you sees this, Scorpio, but you, you don't see that. And it's okay to hold that within. You don't, you know, it's not being cocky. You don't need to, you know, it's not, um, you know, this here, you look at this. This doesn't look like a person sitting there being all cocky and being like, oh, look at me or whatever, right? This person is simply owning their power and standing in their power. Okay, and um, and and that's all it takes. <laughs> that's all it takes. Vibration. Mm. See again, you know, you vibrate out. You vibrate out. This this here, this mental repetition is going to determine what it is that you vibrate out. Okay, if you are going to um continuously repeat negative thoughts about yourself or anything else see the moth down here taking a nosedive that's what's going to happen okay um the other thing i want to say about this too is that your vibration all these ones that swoop in to get a piece of your light okay um they're like moths to a flame you know when you your light shines bright it brings in the moths and the insects and the bugs and the, all the unwanted things, right? Um, and I feel like that's what's been happening. Yet when you vibrate a certain frequency, you're going to be able to rise above that and it's not going to impact you like it once did, okay? Um, because you... Um, and, and, and honestly, they're just going to turn around and go the other way and, and um, because it's not going to be a match. That vibrational match is not going to be there. And I feel like for some of you, that's what you're afraid of, is getting this match again, which is um, toxic and unhealthy, whether that be in, in work, whether it be in friendships or relationships or whatever, okay? Um, but I feel like, You've had enough experience of the what you don't want to have an idea of what you do want, okay? We've got outsiders sitting at the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like some of you may feel like you don't want to miss out or you feel a bit rejected. And I feel like this actually goes back to the inner child. So this could be some healing that needs to happen with that inner child there, Scorpio. Okay, so tell me more about vibration, please, for Scorpio. Trust. Trust has come up. What else have we got? Trust that you can fly, Scorpio. Not, just love it when it does that. Um, not literally. <laughs> 
um, but you know you you don't need anyone else to hold you up okay what's been happening is people have been climbing on your back in order to lift themselves up because they couldn't do it themselves but you can actually do it yourself you don't need anyone else to do that for you you can do that on your own accord yeah and um yeah I I just I just see that you um it may even feel like it's a little bit scary to fly on your own you know that you actually want um people to fly with you because you're afraid of doing it alone but the journey that you're on requires you to be that because you are the well like I said earlier you are the way shower and so the way shower has to be that one that cuts away the weeds and, and, and creates the path for others to follow along. And they will follow along and they may even act like it's their path as though they've discovered it. But it doesn't matter. Because once you do the healing that you need to do, it's not going to matter how they, you know, actually um, embrace that path. What's going to matter is that you know you know you you are leading the way with your light you know and when you sit in this power when you sit in this consciousness of who you truly are you know and that's all that's enough just you knowing you know um tuning in here yeah i feel like this is about you scorpio actually really getting to understand and know yourself um and, and your power, I kind of feel like some of you will know. You know it deep down. You know it on a soul level. On a human level, it's another story. When you put it into real life, it's, it's not as clear and not as simple and not as easy. Um, and... That, though, I want to say is this repetitive mind, you know, this, this repetitive thinking. Okay, so by tuning in here, Scorpio, you learn to silence all this outside chatter. Okay, that isn't happening, you you know, isn't, isn't working for you. It's not serving you. It's not doing you any good. Um, these thoughts, these, these, all these faces here represent your mental repetition. And they're not nice. It's not like you're sitting there boosting yourself up and saying, yeah, you're awesome, carry on. It's like, what are you doing? Who do you think you are? You really think you can do that? And da, 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 da. on and on and on and on and on you go to yourself, bringing yourself down before you even get a chance to rise up. You know, oh, you really think you can fly? Really? <laughs> Everyone's going to laugh at you. And what are they going to think? And who do you think you are? And what, you think you've got everything it takes? Well, you don't, because that person over there, now they've got what it takes, not like little old you. Well, that is incorrect. Don't mondo. Don't listen to that rubbish. Throw that garbage in the bin and move along. Because you are, um, you are something special. And in your heart of hearts, you know it. Even if this mental chatter outside of you is going, no, you're not, no, you're not, no, you're not. You are. Inside of you, you know it. Your mind is there to help you with learning things. It's there to help you when you need to create things. It's there to help you when you say need to drive or when you're at work, or whatever. It's not there to rule your life. It's what's in your heart that is there to rule your life. Okay? Your ego serves a purpose in the sense of keeping you out of danger, but that's it. So just, you know, have a little chat with your ego, maybe. Sit down and have a cup of tea with it, and kind of say, mate, it's okay, thanks. But I've got this. I've got this. I'll listen to you when, when it's needed. You're not out of a job. You know, the ego's 
job is to keep you alive and the ego believes that everything's danger and um, so don't you dare try and step out of um, the norm and do anything different because danger, danger. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, you are the one who has come here to lead and um, as scary as that may feel, um, it's also necessary because we need you, Scorpio. We need you in this world. Okay, so next card for Scorpio, please. Next card for Scorpio. And I, I really do feel like when you actually allow that, um, when you tap into that part of you, this is where the joy resides. This is where you will feel the most joyful when you are living your authentic life, your being your authentic self. Um, and maybe this is why the joy isn't there because it's too many cards because um, you're not letting your authentic self actually even peek out. So, yeah. What's this one? Compassion. Yes, compassion for yourself. First and foremost, compassion for yourself. Get out of nature here, Scorpio. Um, you know, down to the water. If you can, if it's not too cold where you are, um, really connect in, okay? Because I feel like this is going to help you replenish that energy that you um, is depleted, okay? And um, it's going to help you understand, I think, your, it's going to help you connect into yourself okay um you become one with nature you become one with yourself right so yeah i don't know why i'm shuffling these cards again but apparently i am even though i haven't finished with compassion here um but that that is actually the next step you've got the first step here number one of receive healing and then the next step along the way is compassion okay so this really is a matter of you having compassion with yourself um, because you are incredibly hard on yourself. Okay, so tell me more about compassion. Change. And friendliness. Okay, so with this change card here, Scorpio, um, you, this is about you needing to go with the flow, okay, and letting change happen, letting change transpire. Um, and as you tap into the truth of who you are, there will be change. It will change your life. It will absolutely change it. Some of you are a bit afraid of that. Um, but what will happen is you will um, bring in your soul family. You will bring in those who are meant for you. And you will blend in a way. And, and this is what is going to help you to feel fulfilled. Okay. Um, because you will be living your authentic self. Um, and it's <sighs> your inner world will then match your external world so you won't need to look for it on the in the external because you already have it internally but it will automatically bring to you what you are reflecting from within okay so that is beautiful breathe breathe scorpio breathe breathe in this um you know, get out in nature, I think this joy as well, like seeing the birds, seeing, you know, flowers grow and stuff like that, getting joy from things like that, if you can't find it within yourself, go into nature, because you are a part of nature, okay, and that is that connection, so um, that's going to help you start to trigger that joy, okay, and I want to say with this breathe card here, is that um, th you will get through the storm, Storms are not forever, okay? They do end and the sun does shine again. Um, and remember that you can, you are the one carrying yourself through any storm that you are going through, okay? And um, you are, you have the ability to create whatever it is that you want to create because you are the creator, Okay, again, we've got this card and this card here, like we've got tuning in here. These are amazing cards, beautiful energy, you know, and because 
I feel like this is the this is the dream that you have. You have a dream. You have wishes that you want fulfilled. And you feel like you're never going to reach them. You're never going to get them. But the, again, this is the seeking on the outside of yourself. But that here, that's sort of like, okay, this is what you want. But this is not what you're reflecting. Okay, this is not what is going on inside. If you want joy and you want love in your life, it has to come from within first, okay? And then it will naturally come to you, okay? Um, so, yeah, this last card here is rising up and seeing what is possible for you, okay? Seeing every day as a brand new beginning, every single day to do things differently. It might not pan out. You might need to start again tomorrow. That's okay. Be kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself, Scorpio. Don't beat yourself up. Because remember who you are. Okay? So you, you, you need to become this con conscious creator in your life. So that you can absolutely fly. Okay? And be the change that you want to, be, you want to see in your life. Be that change, right? Um, and that's going to bring in something incredible. Okay, yeah, so let's have a look at this postcard again, shall we? Dearest you, let us ask you, are you looking for happiness outside of your everyday, moment-to-moment -moment experience, thinking you will find happiness out there someday? So many go chasing a magic it out there. <laughs> I got that right. But it never could be found, found out there. So we want to share a secret that shouldn't be a secret. You are pure joy. What made you is pure joy. And every time you wake up and even when you sleep, you have joy waiting to be expressed inside you. Joy and happiness and fullness come from doing joy, being joy, knowing it, cultivating it and lighting it in your heart so you can share it. You must know this, so when the time comes, you will be fully free, and your joyful being and actions will turn you into a beacon of starlight. Look within and be joyful, even for tears and loss, for they mean you have lived, really lived. Jump into it all and love every minute. We all love you like crazy over here. And they're cheering you on, you know. So, yeah, this is awesome, Scorpio. Um, just remember that that joy does reside within and this healing that needs to be done will peel away the layers that are co covering up the joy, okay? I'll leave that with you, Scorpio. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.